there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to do a trailer review for Justice League. So Justice League, this trailer just released on Saturday the 25th. Um, coincidentally, on the one year anniversary of Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, happy one year anniversary of the Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, that's really cool. Um, I don't know if it was planned for them to release this trailer on that specific day, but I just find that very interesting. But yes, this trailer did release, and as you guys know, I am very excited for Justice League. It is in my top 20, I put it as my number 17. Um, yes, I am looking forward to Wonder Woman more, but that doesn't mean I'm not excited for Justice League because trust me, I'm pumped. And I mean, I am pumped for Justice League. I know plenty of people out there having their skepticism about it, especially with how Batman v Superman and Suicide Squad turned out, you know, in their opinions. But for me, I like Batman v Superman, not so much Suicide Squad, but I did like Batman v Superman. I love Man of Steel. So I've been really liking, for the most part, what the DC Extended Universe has been doing. So this Justice League trailer, I have to say, I was way more impressed with this trailer than the Comic-Con trailer. If you guys saw the Comic-Con trailer that I did with FilmFan0599, he was WWEFan0599 back then, but obviously if you guys saw his announcement back in January, he changed it to FilmFan. I did that with him last year, and obviously he loves the trailer, but I wasn't too ecstatic, but I still kept my excitement for the movie nonetheless. This one... This is the trailer that the Comic-Con trailer should have been because this was awesome. I really enjoyed this trailer. I actually really liked it on my first viewing, but then honestly, the more I watch this trailer, it's funny, it kind of happens to me lately with trailers, but the more I watch this trailer, the more I actually love it. Like I went from really liking it to actually loving the trailer. I like it more and more. It's such a great trailer. Obviously in this trailer, we see that Bruce, he's out looking for Aquaman like you saw in the Comic-Con trailer. And so after that, that's when we get shots of Aquaman, we get Flash, we get Cyborg. You get really cool shots of them. Um, Especially when you see like the flash running with the blue lightning behind him. I thought that was really nice. Cyborg kicks ass. There's some, you even see Aquaman do some badass stuff in this trailer, which I really, really liked. And Aquaman is actually really funny. There's actually a couple of things that he says that were very, very funny. And I know this trailer has been mainly showcasing Aquaman being this badass because not a lot of people really see him as this badass. But the trailer, I think out of all the characters, Aquaman has been getting like the most attention in this trailer. I don't know if it's just me. But I think that is very cool that they're showcasing what Aquaman is capable of. And I have to say, I love Aquaman for what I see in this trailer. I especially love the ending of the trailer where Aquaman, he says, just like a bat. I dig it. <laughs> And then you see him on Bruce's Batmobile, and then he just jumps up. Um, I don't know what it is that he jumps up towards, but it's very cool. So I do really like Aquaman. I really like Flash. Cyborg, I know people are complaining that he's CGI looking. I don't really notice the CGI personally on Cyborg. I think the look of Cyborg actually does look very cool. And then, of course, the action sequences look Awesome. Just like in Batman v Superman, Ju uh, Dawn of Justice, the action sequences look just spectacular. Just visually, wow, it looks just wonderful. But I have to say, the music choice that they use in this trailer actually fit very well. Like, yes, could they have used a more epic kind of score behind? Yeah, but the song that they use, which is Coming Together, a song I actually really liked, Surprisingly, that fit the trailer. Now, if you were to ask me, would this song fit a Justice League trailer? I would have said <laughs> no. But actually hearing it in a Justice League trailer, it surprisingly did fit, and I really did like that. You also do get a quick shot of Lois Lane, which I thought was very cool. You actually do get a quick shot of Vera, I think that's how you pronounce her name, played by Amber Heard. This trailer is actually just edited very well. Oh yeah, yeah, and then you even do get J.K. Simmons as Commissioner Gordon and the end shot of this trailer as well. So I was honestly just very happy with this Justice League trailer. I think it came together very nicely. Hell yes. 
I can't wait for Justice League. Like, this trailer definitely raised my excitement just a little more now. I was already excited for this movie as it is, but after watching this trailer, man, I really can't wait. Oh, yeah, and as for Superman, some people were disappointed Superman wasn't going to show up. I expected Superman not to really show up here, honestly. Obviously, after what happened at the end of Batman Superman, it makes sense. But Superman, I'm pretty sure, will show up maybe in at least one of the trailers I'm predicting. Maybe if not, they'll save him for the movie. Only time will tell. That's my trailer review, you guys. Comment down below and let me know. What did you think about this trailer for Justice League? Thank you, as always, for watching, everyone. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.